friends. Welcome to an exciting dedication reveal. Blue and Grow YouTube show. I hope you know by now, plan friends, but I realized that I never made like a dedicated YouTube video to this, but I wrote a freaking book. It's right here. I've been talking about it on social media in my newsletter, uh, but I kind of forgot about YouTube. So I wrote a book. It's hitting book bookstores uh, like this month. It's called Growing Joy, The Plant Lover's Guide to Cultivating Happiness in Plants. And it is my love letter to plants and the power that they have to help us cultivate happier, more connected, calm lives. So Growing Joy is actually a self-care book. It's, it's not a plant care book. There is a plant killer to plant person crash course at the end of the book in case you need some tips on how to care for plants. But the meat of the book, I'd say this much of the book, is actually self-care. Um, it's filled with different practices that you can use to cultivate a deeper, more rich relationship with your plants and yourself. Because I have found, listen, I'm a self-help book addict. I've done every yoga retreat, every juice cleanse, every wellness thing. I'm super woo woo. I've tried it all. And I have found the most effective wellness tool that I have had in my toolkit has been the simplicity of plants. These little plants in these tiny pots that we have, that's it. Caring for plants has helped me learn life lessons and be happier and more calm more than any other meditation I've ever done. Even though we talk about meditating with plants in the book. But anyway, it's really fun. I like to say that it's part self-care, part plant care, part memoir, and then mostly plant puns. Because it is mostly, you know, my story of going from overstimulated millennial living in 500 square feet with no agency, no uh, connection with my, my inner world, to a happy plant lady who realized that plants are the answer to like unlocking crazy amounts of joy. And if you listen to the Bloom and Grow Radio podcast, you know that you followed my journey on the podcast, right? But I got to distill it into this beautiful book. And the most exciting part for me, and I will say when the writing process of, of the book got really hard, there was a moment where I actually thought I was gonna have to give my book advance back and that I would never finish. I would go back to the fact that I knew from day one that I wanted to dedicate this book to my mom. And one of the things that carried me through the writing process was the vision of, giving my book, giving this book to my mom and having her open up to the front page and seeing the dedication to her. So obviously I needed to get that recorded and I, I was able to capture it. So a couple of months ago, my editor knew that this was really important to me. She got me an advanced copy of the book way earlier than, than I was originally anticipated. I was flying down to Florida and I was able to have this incredibly sweet moment with my parents. Um, if you guys, I mean, you guys have seen Mama Fiala has been on the Bloom and Grow YouTube show. She is all over this book. I have her stories. I have her tomato tips. I have, you know, she is just such a big part of my my plant experience, right? And I feel tremendously connected to her mom, my nonni, who is past now. Um, but, you know, we have this lineage of Italian gardeners and farmers that, um, for some reason, the gene had originally skipped me when I was a plant killer. But through caring for plants, I have felt like I've, I've refound my ancestry and I've reconnected with that lineage of women in my family. And my mom and I have definitely developed a deeper relationship because we're constantly calling each other, talking about sunflowers, right? Right now her sunflowers are getting eaten by rabbits in Florida and I'm trying to grow sunflowers in grow bags like a real crazy person. So actually I don't say crazy anymore. I actually cancel the term crazy plant lady in this book. You'll have to watch the Instagram video I made about it, but Anyway, so first off, if you haven't already, I would be so thankful if you pre-ordered Growing Joy. It's truly my love letter to plants. We're getting fantastic advanced reader reviews. Um, it is the perfect size. It comes with the most adorable little green ribbon. You can throw it in your book, bring it to a botanical garden, open up at any, It's they're very short chapters, so you could read one chapter and just marinate on it. Um, it's filled with stories, it's filled with science-based practices, it's filled with inspirational, more woo-woo practices, but there's truly something for everyone. It's my goal for anyone to read this book, to walk away with one tangible thing that they can immediately start implementing to lead a more connected, happier life. So, speaking of connected and happy, here is me showing my mom that I dedicated the book to her for the very first time. And shout out and special thanks to my, my dad, John, who didn't tell her, he knew from the beginning <laughs> that I was dedicating it to her and not getting too upset about, about me not dedicating the, the book to him. <laughs> so here's the dedication of the book. Um, I wanted to read it to you before I show the video of my mom because you're gonna see it and you're, I'm gonna want you to understand. So a quote that my mom said on a Blue and Girl Radio episode a long time ago is gardening, good for your mind, good for your heart, and good for your ass. 
my mom, Sandy Fiella. So her words are in my book. And then I say, for my mom, who taught me how to grow in the earth, in my head, and in my heart. So here's Mama Fiella, everyone. I wanted you guys to be the first recipients of the official oh. copies of Growing Joy. What? Oh my With God. With words? Oh my and God. Colors. And colors? And mom, if you could <laughs> open the page to gardening, good for your mind, good for your heart, and good for your ass. <laughs> <laughs> I dedicated the book to you. Oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> Love you. <laughs> Thanks for giving me the genetics, the planting genetics. Oh, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? So Sandy Fiala gets to be a, an author too. Look Your words that. get to be published as well. <laughs> Good <for you. laughs> That's hysterical. Isn't that great? I thought it was oh. the perfect way to start the book off. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, that's great. The book is really nice. I mean, just look at that's it. It's so... Mm -hmm. Oh, we've read it, so it's just, it's amazing. Thank you for everything. And then, Dad, if you look in the back of the book, because I didn't dedicate the book to you. That's okay. But I gave you second in the acknowledgments. Oh, nice. Too dead. I'm sorry, Dad. I didn't use my book to mom. And uh, I understand 100% everything I am today. I'm this great book today. Follow my dreams, really. I love you too. <laughs> We're so proud of you. We're so I proud. wrote it! <laughs> I made it. Doesn't oh it look God. amazing? <laughs> oh my yeah. gosh. They did a great job with it. So that was that. Really, truly one of the sweetest moments of my life. I'm so thankful that I caught it on camera. Billy also caught it on his iPhone. Um, I also surprised Billy, but I'm keeping that one private. Um, unless Billy maybe lets me share it on Instagram, but whatever. Um, I also, so I said shout out to my dad, but I also wanted to read the dedication to my dad in the back of the book. It's not a dedication, it's an acknowledgement. Um, but you know, my mom is my heart and, and my connection to um, plants and, and developing this passion for plants in this business. But my dad is an entrepreneur and is my business advisor. And gosh, Bloom and Grow would not be where it is today if it wasn't for my dad and his guidance and helping me navigate what turning Bloom and Grow into a business would look like. So my dad's acknowledgement to my dad. I'm sorry I dedicated the book only to mom. I know you'll understand. Everything I am today, I owe to the incredible opportunities you worked so hard to create for us and your unwavering support as I follow my dreams, whatever they look like. Thank you. I love you. So anyway, plant friends, there's a lot of heart in this book. I hope you check it out. It's available for pre-order or ordering. By the time this video comes out, actually, you might be able to just go to a bookstore and pick it up. Um, and I narrated the audiobook so you can go buy it on Audible or Amazon, wherever you listen to your audiobooks. Let me read it to you like a bedtime story, <laughs> okay? Um, so anyway, thanks. Thanks for listening and, and watching this very special moment of my life. And until next time, plant friends, keep blooming and keep growing. <laughs> Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do,